Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Erin and I have another thrift store and library book sale haul. So I got this at the thrift store, it was fill a bag for a dollar. So I got this and a bag of stuff. It's the You Don't Say game. It's got some pretty cool stuff in it. Um, it's got a list of over 500 names like, let's see. Liquid detergent, Fort Wayne, Chickadee, Niger. <laughs> this is what they want you to get you to say in the game. And the little rolls go in here, I guess. And then there's these little cool pictures, which are neat. Some more there. Looks like there's two of those. And then there's these rolls, which I thought would be fun for making tags because they're nice and thin. It's nice thin paper. It's got all sorts of neat stuff on it. And it's a pretty good sized roll. And there's two of those. I think the last people that played it might have ripped. Ripped when they were done. They like took it and ripped it out and threw it away. I don't know. That one's like almost done. Then there's the number one and the number three. And some $100 bills and another one piece of a spirograph. And so that's that. So I like that. And then I got some, these were free. Some Reader's Digest books. This one's really pretty. called Unicorn Mystery Book Club. So, it's got a picture of a unicorn inside. Um, it's from Boonville, New York. And it is from 1947. Another Reader's Digest. This is kind of the same as the first one. Arrow Books, Book of Tricks and Projects. This is pretty old. It's from Scholastics, 1960. Some of it's used. Still got some pretty neat pages. I've gotten a couple of these before. Teach you how to draw and stuff, but it's got some nice images in it. There. Thought it had a yeah, here's some color ones. Kids Pumpkin Projects got this to use in my Halloween and fall junk journals. It's got a lot of the words pumpkin in it. So there's that. Fun and games with Paddington. And there he is. Cute end papers. So it's arts and crafts that you can do and activities with Paddington. I got this for the images, Hungry Hummingbird. Really pretty pictures in here. I hope I'm in frame. Oh, and I just moved the camera. I apologize if that Paddington book wasn't in frame. But look at these beautiful pictures, these drawings. So pretty. And we've all seen this before in lots of different halls. The Treasury of Little Golden Books. It's got lots of fun images in it. You can cut it up. 
We all love Eloise Wilkin. There's her, some of her pictures that she drew. Very nice. There's that. Let the merrymaking be begin, Mary Inglebright. Look how pretty. This is signed by her. Oh, wow. Maybe. <laughs> I could be wrong. And then that's nice right there. Just that word, joy. So pretty. That cute little image. Frame. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked through this one yet. I thought it would have more drawings in it. It's got some little ones, little drawings. Oh, yeah. There's good stuff in here for sure. Yep, good stuff. I don't know. If that's hand signed or not. What do you think, guys? I don't know. Another book. It's just got a cool medallion on the front. I cannot even read that. The age of... Sybil. <laughs> Fable. The beauties of mythology. I'm in a trivia group. And every Wednesday we go play it. And every week he has a question about the gods. I mean, who can remember all that? <laughs> we hardly ever know. This book is so cool about oh, 45 minutes to an hour from here is um, Wilmington, New York, where Whiteface Mountain is. And there's a, a place there called Santa's Workshop. It's so cool. And this book was made in 1953. And it's a story of Jack Jingle, who goes from Storydale to Santa's Workshop. And it's all pictures taken at Santa's workshop. So I thought this was just so neat. Like all of these buildings are still there. I've been there with my kids. It is so fun and so cool. It's called Jack Jingle's Wish. And I was so excited to find that. I got that at the library book sale. And then this one is, get this stuff over. Ugh. My Christmas craft book. And my niece is the one that picked this up. So I thought I would just show it to you. It doesn't really have, I don't know, I don't think I could use it, but I'll show it to you anyway. That's my niece's. Um, and then I got all of these think they're chokers necklaces but I got them for my um, Christmas junk journals to close them with one this one I might use for the Halloween two three four five of those this is all for a dollar I got this for my Halloween junk journals it's a scarf it's pretty neat That, oops, gosh, taping the floor. How how exciting, videotaping the floor. Jeez. So there's that. And got these little tart pans. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Another scarf to use in a Halloween junk journal because the colors are perfect. There's that. And it's got a little bit of fringe on the end. 
made in India. And I got this for the Cowboy Journals. It's just a curtain with a tie back. And even the tie back I could put on the edge of pockets. And the edge of the book, I could use it for a tie. Tie the book closed. So many possibilities. And there's a whole bunch of it here too, so. And I got this for my niece. I'm going to give it to her for her birthday. She loves shoes. So this is Mad About Shoes. It's got some cute pictures in it. So there's all that. I got that for her. And then I got this big jar. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's big. It's got Christmas trees on it. Red plastic cap. Oh, and I got this whole bag of doilies and lace. So this was in the bag with all that other stuff for a dollar. So let's open this up. Let's see what we have here. All right. I don't really like these. I don't know. They just look cheap. If anybody wants them, I'll send them to you. Let me know. A bunch of green ones. Those would be cool for Christmas or St. Patrick's Day. Pretty. These feel like cotton. Those are pretty. So cool. Oh, I love the little ones. They're so versatile. You can use them for tons of stuff. Tags, covers, make them look like a flower. There's another one. One. One is the same as that one. This one's cute. I like the chunky design of it. This one's cute too. Same. There's another little one. That one looks kind of old. Oh, that one's pretty. Doilies, doilies, doilies. I thought that was a pretty good deal for a dollar. And these are Classy Doily Collection, six pieces. One, two, well, there's three there, so must have used three of them. So those are pretty. Another one of those cheesy looking ones. Oh, wow. Hmm. Could cut those in four and use them for pockets, corner pockets. Those are pretty cool. There's one, two, three, four of those. So that was one dollar, and then I got a bunch of these. I'm not gonna pull them all out. I mean, they're canning jars. Not very exciting, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'll get those out of the way. I mean, this is just a little. I took all the crafting stuff I wanted and I stuck it in here in the store. We got some nice purple thread. And this was just loose rickrack. I love rickrack. Empty the bottle. It's got different tips, which I didn't realize. Well, that's cool. It's got little tiny tips in it. Hmm, I'm liking that. Okay. And I got this Christmas trim. It's bias tape. Cute. Grab this plaid, black, little black rickrack, some purple. Snag that for a good on Halloween journal. Um, and these little black buttons, they're fabric covered. There's quite a few in here. Um, all different sizes. I thought those would be cute. Um, I could even sniff, snip the, the backs off. Oops. Use them as embellishments. Just glue them down. There's those. Got some sequins. Put those in a cool shaker card. And I got this Stampin' Up stamp pad. I always feel like such an idiot when I'm trying to open these. 
appears to be working in this little basket. So all of that for a dollar. cards. figure they're kind of like tags. They're just pre-cut. could use them for embellishments. could paint and stamp and just um, and break them apart. So there's some ivory ones. Some quite a few ivory ones. I like those. They had like four packages of these Spectrum the rainbows on it. I only grabbed one. I, there's 25 pages. I think that's plenty. More than I'll ever use probably in my lifetime. And there's these. They're like, uh, looks like roses. And then the rest of them are just white. So that was in the box. And then I got this because they're stickers. You can send them through your printer. And make your own business cards. Oh no, they're not stickers. I thought they were stickers. Oh well, they're not. Bummer. <laughs> so there's some more ivory ones that you could print on those. So that, and then I got these things, company jars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excuse me. Nine mason jars. And a lot of them have these plastic lids. And then I got this box of just the lids so I'll be able to make my jam from all the berries I picked in my berry garden and I think yes that is it that is everything that I hauled um lately I hope you like what I got and like I said if you guys anybody wants these I will send them to you and there's actually a big one have all of them I will send them to you I would love to see someone use them um, so yeah who wouldn't I mean I could probably send them in an envelope It'd probably cost me two stamps so no big deal if you want them let me know and uh, thanks for watching my haul have a great day if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and I apologize for the poor video quality this week <laughs> thanks for watching bye